Hi everyone, we are at the Naval Group's Naval Innovation Days this morning and uh, today uh, the French shipbuilder is unveiling a new, very interesting modular launcher. So uh, I would define it as both a closing weapon system because it can launch missiles, but it's also a decoy launcher because it can launch uh, anti-missile decoys. So let's try to, to find out more about this uh, new innovation. Sir, good morning. Hi, Xavier. Can you please uh, introduce yourself? And I am Vincent, the head of Vincent Fabre, the head of uh, innovation and strategy from the equipment and system branch from the Global Group. Very well, Vincent. So, what uh, what do we have here with this uh, new product that you're unveiling today? Then uh, nowadays, Navy uh, face um, has to cope with a large range of threats. Um, it's always a real challenge to integrate new systems on board. Uh, concerning integration, functional integration, physical integration. And then uh, another group as a strategic partner from, for the navies has to tackle with that problem statement. How to be able much more flexible, much more able to propose solutions that which are modular in terms of functional and physical integration. That's why I'm very pleased to unveil the modular and multi-purpose launching system. That system as explained, is one of the most disruptive solutions that we are able to provide today in terms of uh, physical and functional integration. A system designed together with operational experts and with, for the benef benefits of the Navy. Modular, it means that we have um, one, two or three, for instance, uh, launching pod, that has that one. Uh, modularity lies in the fact that in, uh, we will have standard uh, ammunition modules will be able to just collaborate with uh, ammunition providers in order to in order to adapt and to design specifically the the modules to to the specific munitions. But the ammunition module will be standardized at the launcher um, and pod uh, level. It means that at the end, uh, one of the most important things from uh, operational experts is to be able to embark much more ammunitions. That one, thanks to uh, new disruptive technologies, additive and composite technologies, we are able to increase the loading capacities of the launcher. Multipurpose, as you can see, we are able to mix different kind of ammunitions. Depending on the threat, it will be much more comfortable for the Navy to adapt, I would say, um, the, the system um, in line with the operational context, I would say. We're specifically, we're talking. Uh, what are we talking about? Uh, decoys, anti-missile decoy, anti-torpedo decoys, maybe uh, anti-submarine rockets, yeah. anti-air missile, anti-ship uh, missile. At that stage, we are still working on the conception, and then we are working on specific uh, validation of technical components. The Model 2 allows to work quite closely with ammunition providers. Then, depending on, on the Navy's priority, we'll be able to speed up the development process in line with their requirements. For instance, for sure, it could be rockets, it could be uh, short range missiles for air defense, it could be decoy launching systems, and, um, and for sure, future uh, um, ammunitions, new technologies, and so on, such as uh, it could be loitering ammunition, and, and so on. Uh, Vincent, last but not least, what's the current status of the of the program? And we are launching the program. At that stage, it's mainly um, a development coming from Naval Group. At the end, with the relevant supports, we'll be able within three years to reach uh, live firing trials on board, for instance, depending on the uh, on the on the support from our partners. And I believe you will be conducting uh, land-based uh, firing, the first ones uh, next year. Uh, yeah, it's, well, we we are working at the. And at the stage mainly on the modularity parts, then it means that we will have to work on the ammunition first scenarios of ammunition integration. And then after we will speed up the process of the full, um, I would say, system uh, design, including the hardware solution, but also the system solution with the, for instance, the, the fire installation unit. Very well, thank you very much. Thank you so much.